guys going stick shopping today. The cool thing about still being in junior sticks is that I don't have to pay $340 for a stick. So we're here at front row. Um, I'm either gonna get the 1S or I'm also looking at the 1X Lite. So the only problem with the 1X Lite is that it's 250 bucks. Since we're in Canada, it's about 195, um, but we're getting our skate sharpened. So I think, uh, I don't know if we're gonna have enough for this one. So I think I might go with uh, the 1S here, the new one. It's still pretty light, but I don't know, I'm just kind of disappointed. <laughs> We decided to go with the 1X Lite, although it's uh, pretty expensive. Got the money here, we're about to go buy it. Hey guys, it's JP, and today we're comparing these two sticks, the Bauer Vapor 1X Lite and the CCM Supertex 2.0. I'll be using my Hockey Shot Revolution synthetic ice tiles, so let's get out there and test out these sticks. when taking wristers and clappers with these two sticks is that the flex is completely different. This stick is a 40 flex and this stick is a 50 flex chopped down a few inches to about a 60. So I get a lot more flex on the Bauer Vapor 1X Lite than I do on the CCM Supertex 2.0. When I'm stick handling with both these sticks, they're both very similar to me. Um, this stick's a little bit taller than the Supertex, so it's kind of uh, a little bit difficult to stick handle, but uh, I think I'll get used to it as I use this stick more. One thing I noticed about my stick handling is when I don't practice daily or even weekly, then it, my hands kind of slow down and I have to get back in the groove. So the prices on these two sticks are pretty similar. Uh, we got the super tax for 200 and actually CCM sent us the super tax, but this stick retails for about 200 as well. So it's kind of like an opinion thing of what stick you'd like better. So both of these sticks are grip tech, and um, my Bauer Vapor 1X Lite has a Matthews curve, 40 flex, and my super tax 2.0 is 50 flex and has a McDavid curve. Um, I'm really liking the Matthews curve. This is my first time using it. So I'm excited to use it on the ice today. Yeah. All right, guys, so that wraps up this video. Let me know which stick to you guys like based off this video. Um, I'm going to go with the 1X Lite, but we'll see after I test it out on the ice today. See you guys on the ice.